Hey everybody, Daily really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Period Cube, along with Lee Result. Only on our second episode with her, but uh, yeah, we're already completely on board her route. So we're about to split up now, and Hiri is going to go look for Shiki in the Angel Town, while Libera and I are going to go to the Demon Town and hang out and wait for him. So let's journey on. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. You've got a ton of friends on your friends list. Oh well, yeah, I do have a lot of friends. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Hey, take care of her. Of course, don't worry. I really want to go with Hiroya, but I'm at such a low level, and the people are still looking for the Almighty. I might just be a burden again. I'll root for Hiroya and wait for him here. Not here, in the Demon Town. In Twilight Capital. So from Cyril Forest to Imbil Plains. We didn't get very far. I promise I'll be back. So just wait here with Libera. I thought we were going to Twilight Capital. All right, I understand. Be careful. Please come back safe, Hiroya. There he goes. But considering his level, I think he should be fine. The enemies might be a bit tough, but the field will be no problem for him. Got it. Uh. Yeah, sure he's not your boyfriend. <laughs> you want the position already? Huh? No, he really is a childhood friend. We actually fell out of touch. Hmm. Well, whatever. It all worked out. What worked out? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Wait a minute, are you planning on selling me off, Libera? Anyway... Let's hurry to town. There'll be monsters at sundown. This is... Twilight Capital. Why do I sound unimpressed? Good thing we got here before dark. It was a good idea we hurried, huh? There are so many people. Yeah, you rarely see other players once you're on the field, so it's a novelty. There's still some time before the sun goes down, I want to look around a bit. Sure. Oh, new background. Items, equipment, medicine, food. They have everything here. I see. Wow. Well then, where should we go first? Libera! Oh, hello. Is that your friend? One of many? Yeah, sure. That's good. I haven't seen you in a while, so I was getting worried. Well, I was out on the field for a bit. Sorry to make you worry. You were alone? That's pretty rare. Did you get hurt? No, oh, I'm fine. It's been a while, though, so I was a bit scared. Hey, don't leave me hanging like that. I would have gone if you told me. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'll ask you next time. Yo, Libera. I was looking for you. Huh? Me? Why? I wanted to give this to you. Wow, a bracelet? You said you wanted one before, right? You remembered, but this is such a rare item. Are you sure? Of course. I kept at it until it dropped just for you. I'm so happy, thank you. Hey, Libera, who is this girl? Is she your friend? Uh, uh, I'm... Yep, we became friends out in the field. This is Kazaha. Well, we're fast friends already. Hello. Oh, she's cute. Nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you, too. Can I register you as a friend? Oh, wait, this girl's still a beginner. She's still learning the controls. Whoa, really? Yeah, I just couldn't leave her alone. I'm teaching her little by little. Can you wait till next time to register? Huh? I can at least manage a friend. Don't say that, Kazaha. She's trying to help you. Come on, please. I guess learning tons is a pain. If that's the case, next time then. Yeah, if we have time, we can help you level up, so let us know. Thanks. You guys are so reliable. Oh, yeah. Here, you have one too. A necklace. Your defense rises if you put it on. Huh? But I can't just take it. It's fine. 
I don't need it at my level anyway. Oh, then I'll give you my ring too. This one gives you a stat bonus. Are you sure? Well, that's rare too, isn't it? It's low level though. Here, take it. Whoa, two of them? Thanks, you two. If we find anything else helpful, we'll come and bring it to you. Well, that was nice of them, huh, Kazuha? Your chances of survival just shot up. I yeah But is it really okay to just take all of this? Alright, we'll I'll be heading out now. Yeah, later. If you're ever in trouble, hit us up. Yes, thank you very much. Bye-bye. I wonder just how rare the items are, though. Phew, sorry for all that. All right, when I asked if you wanted to look around town. Man, that was bad timing. You sure have a lot of friends. Friends? <laughs> yeah, I guess I have a lot. Don't worry. You have a lot of people you can talk to if you're in trouble. It's my first time meeting them, and they gave me so many things. Those guys wouldn't use those items at their levels, so don't worry about it. Anyway, let's check out that store. Huh? Oh, was it not okay to take your hand? There are a lot of people here. I was worried you might get lost, but... Was that bad? No, it just surprised me a bit. Oh, good. Come on, Kazuha, this way. She's so cute, like a little sister. Oh, the store looks pretty. I thought equipment would be more like armor, but they're like normal clothes. Enchanted armor. Of course, there's armor for every class, but minstrels are lighter. Well, there are ways to make even cute clothes just as strong as heavy armor. Wow, you can do that? That's amazing. Well, it's a fantasy game. Might as well wear something cute, right? So, your clothes are like that too? Yep, yeah, that's right. I had them custom made by a crafter. I even looked for all the materials. Oh, this will look good on you. See, it's so cute. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what that covers. Whoa, there's so much lace, a lot of ribbons, and the skirt's so short. What skirt? <laughs> it is, but I'd kind of be embarrassed. Why? Your skin's so nice and pretty. These colors will look good on you. I've never worn such cute clothes. Huh? How come? It's such a waste. They look so good on you. I guess I could try it out. Yeah, definitely. Just give it a try. This isn't the real world. You can wear anything here you wouldn't normally. And you don't know anyone here, right? Uh, the banner suddenly started undoing my top. Hey! W wait a second! I can undress myself. You were taking forever, so I thought I'd give you a hand. Wait, I can do it myself. Really? Yes. Yeah, I'll go put it on. Oh, according to plan. What the hell? That scared me. Here's the fitting room. I wish we could see what this looks like on her, actually, but I don't think they're going to show us. Actually, I'm sure they're not going to show us. Thanks, I'll show you when I'm done. <laughs> I'll be waiting. I'm so excited. This is so weird. Shopping for clothes in a virtual world. So I put my arms through here, then... Hi, how are you doing? Done yet? Uh, wait, just a little longer. The button's on the back. Can you get them? Want me to help? It's fine, just two more. You're so slow. Turn around, I'll do it for you. Uh, okay. Oh, what's wrong? Are you embarrassed? You just surprised me. Sorry, I couldn't wait any longer. You can at least let me help you change. We're both girls, after all. Are we really? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Actually, it really shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, because if you were listening to this without my voice, you would think... Her voice is kind of deep. The curve of your back's so pretty. Huh? Really? I've never seen it. Yeah, and your skin is so soft. Eek! That's so smooth. 
Hey, lady, there are limits here. Jeez, Libera. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, all done. Turn toward me now. Wow. Huh, I knew you'd be super cute. I want to see. It's like I'm looking at a stranger in the mirror. Actually, this is a bit too much. What? Why? I guess I'm just not used to this. I told you, it's really cute. Yippo! What a cutie, boyo! Ay ay ay! You are showing up early, Poyo Poyo. Huh? Poyo Poyo is love struck. Poyo Poyo? This little guy is floating in midair. Libera, Libera! Introduce this girl to Poyo Poyo! Why are you one all of a sudden? We're busy shopping here. Don't say that, please, Poyo! Who is this, Libera? A friend? No, not a friend, really. What? How cool of you! Well, this thing's an intel monster called Poyo Poyo. A monster? He won't attack you, so don't worry. Poyo Poyo isn't some kind of barbaric monster, Poyo. How do we know what hides behind that facade? Poyo Poyo has secret intel and money. Huh, that's pretty barbaric, you know. That's rude, Poyo. Um, it's nice to meet you, Poyo Poyo. I'm Kazuha. Kazuha! What an adorable name, Poyo! Please shake Poyo Poyo's hand, Poyo! Yeah, nice to meet you. Ugh. Yippo! You're just the cutest, Poyo! Those thin clothes are just perfect on you! Thanks! Then, isn't there a better way to say that? You make them sound so cheap! Then and really is super cute, Poyo! Ah, uh, what a lousy compliment. You just took all the fun out of this. <laughs> Those aren't lousy. I'm being serious. Yeah, sure. But since we're here, I want to try out more outfits. I'd like to try on other things, too. More decent things, apparently. Puyo! Puyo Puyo wants to join in. You want to try on clothes, too, Puyo Puyo? Pick out anything you want. Puyo Puyo can take care of the money. <laughs> Hi, well, that sounds pretty vulgar. <laughs> oh, that swimsuit over there looks cute. Pew! Leave it to me! Ah, oh, he's so annoying. We were having so much fun together, too. It's fun to see someone so lively. Oh, you're having fun? Yeah, I was a bit nervous at first, but I think I've relaxed a bit now. You're really fun to be around, Libera. And Poyo Poyo is really nice. Oh, I give you a ton of compliments, too. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, you finally left. Huh? You look so sad ever since you and Hiroya split up. Oh, sorry. Well, that's okay. I know how lonely it feels after leaving someone you know. But I'm glad to hear you laughing. Libera, she was worried about me. Changing your clothes and accessories can help change your mood, too. You can become someone else for a bit. Yeah, thanks for bringing me here. Hey, you find her? No, are you sure you actually saw her? A bunch of people just rushed in. Yeah, I'm sure she looked just like the screenshot. Oh no, they have pictures of me. Hey, get over here. Huh? Just hurry. We jumped into a fitting room. What's wrong? Shh. She was seen in Minta Woods last night, so she could be in the capital now. But are you sure it's true that a player would be the Almighty? <gasps> oh, I knew it. Those two guys are after you. But we changed my idea to private. How did they find us? Seems like people have been talking. Either the leader of those who attacked you or someone else. Someone else? Well, I saw you from afar back then, so it's possible someone else did as well. Are you sure it wasn't you, Libera? We're not allowed to use weapons here, but we still have to be really careful. I'm scared. I hate to think what would happen if Libera hadn't noticed. I'm really glad she's here with me. Hi, you can get a little further back. It'd be bad if they found us hiding. Oh, r right. Ah, 
She's right up against me. This is her plan. Hi. You are pretty thin, aren't you? Uh, well, you look pretty thin too, you know. <laughs> That's hard to hide when we're stuck together like this, huh? Puyo? Looking for something, Puyo? It's Puyo Puyo. You see the Almighty around here? Oh, that girl just left, Puyo. No, really? You have some nerve to doubt Puyo Puyo's information, Puyo. She might have gotten away. Damn, let's try somewhere else. That's right, Skeedaddle. Are they gone? So we're gonna have to be sneaking around this whole route. Phew, well that was close. Huh. Are you okay? Your face is bright red. Or are you holding your breath? Maybe. My heart was racing. I told you, leave everything to me. Yeah, thank you. Perfect timing, Libera. Oh, I guess you can come through in a pinch, Puyo. Oh, that's with the arrogant attitude. It's obvious. It's because Puyo Puyo is so great, Puyo. Ah, oh, another narcissist. I see. Puyo Puyo, thank you very much. You are very welcome, Puyo. Now then, let's get out of this store, Puyo. Fine, let's continue this tomorrow and find a safe place to rest for today. A safe place? Aha, that's exactly what I thought. Is this a restaurant? It's a tavern and inn, Puyo. There are so many people. If the same people from earlier are here too... Oh, there she is. Hey, boss. If it isn't Libera, it's been a while. And what have you been up to? I was just out on the field a bit. That's pretty unusual. I suppose. Hello, Puyo. Oh, Puyo Puyo is with you? No way. He just ran into us earlier. Or more importantly... Hi, come here. Uh, okay? You don't have to worry, she's fine. Oh, a newcomer? Yep, we've been through a bit, so we'll be sticking together a while. Hello, my name's Kazuha. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Domina. I'm the owner of this place. It seems like you're new to World V. Actually, she's a complete newbie. Domina's hand gestures in midair, and her eyes grew wide as she read on. You're right. I'm surprised you were able to get this far with these stats. I had help from Libera. Still, with this race... Really? Yeah, so, you know, if you could let us stay here for just a bit. Well, I don't mind, but let me know at least a little of what's going on. I want to know more about you too, Puyo. You know enough, Puyo. All right, fine. Before that, though, I'm starving. All right, all right. Just a moment. Hey, Libera, when Domina said race just now... Oh, yeah, I think she realized that you're the Almighty. Well, it's okay. Domina's policy here is to never cause any commotion. Plus, fighting in towns is prohibited. I see. Okay. But it's possible you'll be tailed again. Puyo Puyo's worried, Puyo. That's all right. Domina's our ally. She's always liked helping people out. But if we were to become a problem for Domina... That's all right. I'm telling you. Leave the needless worry for later. First, you need to get some good food in you, and then take a good rest. If not, you won't feel better. Let's think about the future later, okay? Okay. Thanks for waiting. Huh? What's wrong? You guys look so glum. Oh, um... Well, I suppose there's a lot going on, but as long as you're alive, it's fine. Let's leave the difficult stuff for later. For now, eat. That's exactly what Libera just said. Oh, wow. It looks delicious. Domina special curry and rice. You like it, right, Libera? Yeah. Thanks for the food. You eat up, too. And no need to hold back on seconds, either. Thank you very much. Oh, this is good. Oh, man. Now I feel like eating curry. Let me know if you'd like it spicier. It's just perfect. Mmm. I really missed warm rice. Chop chop. 
This is for a child's palate, Poyo. Oh, you like your food spicy, eh, Poyo Poyo? Shut up. In that case, this is for you, here. Yes! Poyo Poyo loves oranges, Poyo. <laughs> so, oranges are a more adult palate, hmm? Well, that's not a meal at all. Sour and slightly bitter fruit is fit for the palate of an adult. Since we're inside of a game, it feels so strange for food to taste so good. The bass player of Maslow's hierarchy is tied to human primitive instincts. Also, it's a splendid diversion, Poyo. What are you going on about? If you're so on edge that you can't even muster up an appetite, you wouldn't really be able to do much. You can feel a lot better just from having a great meal. That's right. Humans can find happiness in the smallest things. Ah, there she is, over there! Oh, dear. I looked behind me, surprised, and saw two men coming toward us. Oh, good evening. It's been a while. Oh, Hugh, they're the Bearer's friends. I thought they were people after the Almighty. I heard you were out on the field. Yeah, I thought I'd be good to head out once in a while. You don't run off without saying anything. We were lonely, the Bearer. Oh, I was lonely, too. I have to say, being here in Twilight Capital is the best. If you're going out, let's go out together to a place with rare items. But that sounds kind of scary. Well, there are strong monsters out there. Don't worry. I'll be with you. Oh, that's right. Take this. Wow, good stones? So many. What pretty stones. Soul stones are mysterious stones imbued with magic power. Use one and your MP will recover. It's a good tool for magic users. Hey, they're pretty useful. You can buy items at shops, but these items are pretty rare, Poyo. And these drop from monsters, so we wanted to give some to you, Libera. Huh? Really? I'm so happy. We can use a ton of magic now with this many, so we're all set. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to go craft accessories. You two, how about you stop hovering around Libera all the time already? Come on, Domina. That's a bit harsh. Yeah, what's wrong with spending some time with our little Libera? I have something to talk about with her. You boys reek of alcohol, so go someplace else, please. Jeez, that's pretty cold. We haven't seen each other in a while, and you're gonna hog her to yourself? Such a fuss over only a few days. You're forgetting this is my place. Do you have any problems with that? It's all fine over me, please. Oh, I guess we'll let it go if you say so. Let's have another drink over there. <laughs> Domina, give me an ale. Pay up front, please. Yeah, I know. This is good, right? Thank you for your patronage. Come hang out again sometime. Yeah, later. What vulgar players, Poyo? Poyo, Poyo, I'll hear you. You really have a lot of friends. Well, I've been playing since beta. Beta? It's when the game is played before it's released. To make sure it's stable, Poyo. It's been maybe about three years. But your level isn't high, Poyo. Whatever. I'm fine with that. Talking to other players is more fun than clearing dungeons. Well, if you stay around town a while, you'll naturally meet more people. It's fun. People enjoy games in different ways. But I don't even know what to do with this soul rock with such trash MP. Huh? But you were so happy about it. It'd hurt their feelings if I wasn't. Oh, that's right. I have to remember to sell the bracelets I got at the market. Oh, Libera. Huh? Even though you just got them? If you keep every single thing, you'll run out of space in your inventory. Oh, I can give you the soul rock. I'm pretty sure minstrels have skills that use MP, so... I can't take it. Huh? Why? That was a gift for you. I think those people wanted you to use it. It's up to me to do whatever I want with what I'm given, right? But... Here, take it. If you don't want it, you can throw it away. I couldn't do that. Hey, Libera, if you didn't want it, you should have refused it. I might just keep pushing it on me if I did. 
That's better to accept with a smile. I mean, it's not like I said anything about wanting it. You're hopeless. Those guys couldn't have given it to a less grateful kid. She looked so happy just a moment ago, but she really didn't mean it. It might be worse to just throw it away, so maybe I should hold on to it. So, how does Twilight Capital's darling go out into the field so suddenly? Well, I wanted to go take a peek at the Almighty. Libera told Dalman of the story of how Hiroya and I met. So, Hiroya went to the Celestial Palace all on his own. That's worrisome. Yes, I understand now. You can stay here until Hiroya returns. Er, but... What about money? Don't worry about the money. I mean, you don't have much anyway, right? This wouldn't be enough, would it? It's a pretty sad sum of money, Poyo. I, I'm sorry. Ah, that seems about right for newbies. Besides, I only bought the land and built this place as something of a hobby. Bought the land? You can do that? There are rules in the game for this. So long as you have in-game currency, anyone can buy an open plot of land. With materials and high-level crafter, you can even make your own house. Wow. Basically, I'm letting you all stay at my house. Just pay me through tips. It's not like I run this business with labor as one of my expenses. So, you're doing this all by yourself? For all the players? I guess that's been my intention. But the reason why this place exists is because of all the players and crafters who responded to my call. Everyone wanted a place to spend time in peace and have a good night's rest. That and sharing info with each other is also important, Puyo. Oh, I want to eat good food, too. <laughs> Lots of reasons. It's multi-purpose. If you really can't help but feel guilty, then... Yeah. How about helping out now and then? Serving tables, cleaning, laundry. I'll do it. Please, let me do it. Thanks. It'd be a great help. But for today, just have a nice rest. Anything worth doing will require a sound mind, body, and soul. Yes, thank you so much. Well, I know we've already done an awful lot of resting in this game so far. <laughs> well, I guess we probably worked away a lot of that energy with the uh, shopping. So, we're staying here. It kind of feels like we're on vacation. I sat on the bed and slowly sank in. It's so soft. I slowly sank in? Was it memory foam? I laid down and my consciousness started to melt away amidst my comfort. I've been sleeping outdoors all this time. Delicious food, a warm bed. I used to take them for granted, but in this moment I was really grateful. Huh? Oh, I must have received a message. I touched the envelope icon. Here ya! How are things going? Are you okay? I walked as much as I could today, and as soon as I hit my target, I picked a spot to rest and have some food. No annoying monsters showed up, and I'm getting closer to the Celestial Palace. So don't worry, I'll come back with word of Shiki's whereabouts. That is if Shiki even went there in the first place, really? Phew. I'm happy he's safe. I should write him a reply. Thanks for messaging me. We got to Twilight Capital safely, too. Libera guided me through town, and I tried on some equipment at the market. I made friends with a cute monster named Poyo Poyo, and the owner of the inn, Domina, is such a good person. My hand suddenly stopped. Hiroya said he'd take the shortest route, meaning he's out there now. If he got a message like this... What would he think? I started to feel guilty about the fun I'd had and for having a comfy bed. Hiroya is facing real danger on this trip, and all on his own, too. I erased my entire message. I think he'd be happy knowing that you're safe and happy, though, really. Kaza, are you awake? Oh, Libera, come in. Oh, I thought you were already asleep. A message came in from Hiroya. Oh, yeah? That's great. How is he? Is he doing well? Yeah, he's keeping a good pace. Can I see the message, too? Of course. Thanks. Why do you want to see the message? Oh, you just want to get close. You want to get all up in my business. 
From where I was standing, I couldn't see the letters because of the screen. Yeah, I'm sure that's why you're this close. Oh, I see. I'm just kidding. I just wanted to sit closer to you. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't the truth feel better? Huh? Are you looking at my chest? Her large eyes looked at me teasingly. Is that bad? No, it's fine. Good. She's so friendly. It really is like having a sweet younger sister, but... For some reason, my heart skipped. Um... Uh... You're right. Sounds like he's okay. Sure. Are you going to write a reply? I will. I'm sure he's really worried. Um... Thanks for messaging me. We got to reach Twilight Capital with Libera. I'm doing fine, so don't worry. Huh, that's it? Uh, I just thought it'd be enough to tell him I'm doing fine. I can just share all the details later when he comes back. You're right. Here I am might not sleep until he gets a reply from you. Yeah, um, where's the send button? Well, that's over here. Oh! Huh? What? What happened? Oh, sorry. Our hands touched. You did that on purpose. No, I'm sorry too. My heart skipped a beat again. It must be because she's just so cute. Ugh. Her big eyes, long eyelashes, her tanned skin and pink lips. Why are we looking so closely right now? She really is cute. I feel like I understand why a lot of people talk to her. Oh, what's wrong? Oh no, it's nothing. Liar, what is it? I want to know. Uh, her gaze is strong. I don't think she'll let it go. I was just surprised. Er, I was just surprised. It made my heart kind of skip a beat. No, it's fine. Actually, my heart skipped a beat just now, too. Eh? Uh, I don't know where I put it. It's like I feel ticklish when I'm around you. Maybe it's because you get embarrassed. You were really shy changing, too. Er, well, I mean, that was... Well, that's what makes you so cute. <laughs> You're getting shy again. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I wonder why. You must hear it a lot, don't you? Aren't you used to it? No, I don't hear that at all. Huh? But what about Haria? No way, he wouldn't say that. Oh, I see. Oh, but my brother would say it. But it's different when family says it. I wonder why. You're so cute, Kazaha. This is the first time someone's told me so much that I'm cute. And we'll leave off on the cute note here. <laughs> Hope we start getting into some action soon. I'm not a girly girl, so yeah, the shopping wasn't really terribly exciting for me. Well, and then we really didn't do much after that. We went to the inn and all. Made friends, kind of like the obligatory stuff that we had to get out of the way, basically. But let's see if the pace picks up when we get to the next one. Hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me. And I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.